I'm Bailey. Thanks for clicking on my channel. Today I want to do a what's in my diaper bag video. So if you're interested in seeing what I have in my diaper bag for a newborn age zero to three months, then just keep watching. completely wipeable the outside the inside um, everything it does come in different colors there is a dusty rose that I love but obviously I didn't get dusty rose because I have a little boy and my husband also carries this around so I thought I'd be kind to them <laughs> it has gold detailing on the back which is really nice the gold hardware here um, it's a backpack the straps actually unclip, so what I can, what I sometimes do is I unclip the bottom here, and then wrap it around my stroller, and then clip it to the top. And then you have a stroller bag, which is really handy, and you can do something like that to the bottom too, but I mean, I am not sure what else these straps can do, so if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments. But let me show you what I have. So this front pocket here is basically my throw-in compartment. So like I'll put um, my lipstick, my keys, and my phone in here. It is magnetic. It has a magnetic closure. And again, everything is wipeable. So the inside is wipeable. Let me see what I have in here. So yeah. A ton of lipsticks. But a girl's got to have options, right? This part right here is actually a pocket so if I open it up this is where I keep my wallet and things like that I call this my mommy compartment so anything that's mine I put up here so I have my wallet where I keep Kai's health card all of that and then I also keep disposable nursing pads so when I'm at home I really like using the reusable nursing pads when I'm out and about I like to have these handy just in case, especially when I'm traveling because I can just throw them in the garbage and I don't have to worry about laundry. And the Lancino ones are my favorite because they are sticky, so they actually stick to the inside of your bra or your shirt or whatever, so you don't have to worry about them falling or moving at all. And they do tend to hold a fair bit. This is a really good size pouch. So like, it's this whole size here. Um, I don't even have it half full. So there's lots of room in it, but it is the top part and it closes. So you do want it to fold and close nicely. So if I open it, it's a drawstring opening here. Now in this back pocket, um, where the Rosie Pope emblem is, there's a little pouch where I keep like creams um, and different things. So I'll show you. This is my Baby Ganex hand sanitizer. I love this. I think I use this all the time. I've gone through a couple of these. I use it nonstop because I feel like my steering wheel is dirty. You're out and about. You don't know if you're going to be near a sink um, with soap. So I just um, put some of this on my hands. I'm good to go. I also have diaper cream, nipple cream. This is Acne All Purpose Nipple Ointment. I luckily have not had to use this in so long. I do keep it in here just in case. Infant Tylenol. So that's that pocket. Attached to that one, there's a little zipper compartment here. And I use the zipper compartment for pacifiers or things that go in his mouth because I just feel like that way no germs are getting in or out. I always keep it closed. Right now, in here, I have his Havea All Natural Pacifier with the glitter and spice um, marble attachment for it. So these are my diaper compartments. So there are two of them and they're really stretchy. They are like elasticized here. So this one I keep. These are the bamboo wipes by Aliva Naturals. Um, they're not bad, like I like them. They do the trick, um, they don't give him any skin irritations, but they are a smaller, thinner wipe, like cloth itself. So that's that one. And then this next compartment, I keep diapers. I usually at one time um, keep three, 
two or three diapers. That seems to be all I've ever needed. And then we have the center area. So this bag came with a change pad, um, but it's round and it's a lot smaller. And I just found I wasn't using it that often. So I went and purchased this one off Amazon and it's great for traveling. We did go on an airplane not too long ago and I used it in the airplane bathroom, which was amazing. And we are traveling again in a week or so. So I just thought this would come in handy. Those airplane bathrooms are so small. So bringing your whole diaper bag is a little bit tricky. If you pull this out of it, it has a handle. You can just bring it with you and the baby. And it's super awesome because you just unvelcro it. And as you can see, the baby's head goes up here. And then on the bottom, there's um, a spot for diapers. So I keep a diaper in here. And then it came with this wipes dispenser. And I always just make sure there's wipes in it. And the good thing about this is it's completely wipeable, but it's also really padded. So I don't feel bad setting him down on a hard surface and changing him on this so I love it and then it's so easy because you just fold it up and you're good to go. I have a Ziploc bag of clothes. These are clothes that fit him currently and are seasonally appropriate right so cold outside. I basically just have two sleepers in here This one, it has the feet covered and the hands covered, so I don't have to worry about like all these different accessories for his outfits. I can just throw these in here. And then I have um, a onesie for underneath the sleeper. Now, these come in handy all the time because blowouts are a thing, and he has had quite a few blowouts. I keep two because he, luckily he hasn't had two blowouts in one outing, but I feel like it could very well happen. You just, you never know, right? Mom life. But I keep him in a Ziploc bag because when he does have a blowout, I put the old yucky clothes in the Ziploc bag and that way they do not get on anything else. There's no poop anywhere in my diaper bag. Still in this middle compartment, I have my milk snob cover. So this is great for nursing him in public. I can just throw it on. It's really, really soft. And what I really like about it too is the fabric doesn't wrinkle. So you can stuff it in your diaper bag and it looks brand new all the time. I also always, always keep a swaddle blanket in my diaper bag. This one is by Milkmaid Goods. It's that butter soft material. I was actually gifted this by my friend uh, for my baby shower. And Milkmaid Goods makes the matching robes and house dresses for these swaddle blankets. So he has a little hat that goes with it and I have a house dress. It is the most comfortable thing ever. I wear it around the house like nobody's business. Sometimes I'll use it to put over his stroller. Sometimes I'll use it to cover him up with. Sometimes I'll use it even just as like a burp cloth to clean things up. I also have on the other corner to kind of keep it structured like so it sits up nicely, wipes. So these wipes, are the Aleva Naturals, again, hand and face wipes. I use these all the time. A couple times people have walked up to him and touched his hand and it freaks me out. So I know that sounds horrible, but it's just, he was born in cold and flu season and all the spreading of germs that's happening right now really freaks me out. Um, he has really sensitive skin like me, but these have caused no issues at all. I'm using them on his face, so I've been really happy about that. And then, also by Aleva Naturals, I have the pacifier wipes. So these are really handy. I don't obviously use them at home ever, just in the diaper bag. If we drop his pacifier or it touches something or anything like that, this will disinfect it naturally and it's safe for him to put back in his mouth after. So I feel a lot better having these on hand in case I need them. And then the last thing I have in this diaper bag is my munch mitt. Now I just added this in here recently because Kai just discovered his hands maybe a couple weeks ago and he's been putting his hands in his mouth. So with the munch mitt, you just Velcro it around his wrist 
and then he can put his hand in his mouth and suck on it. Right now it's huge on him. It's kind of fun for, for me to like watch him. You can tell he's learning and exploring when he's wearing it because he'll hear the sound and he'll move his hand and he grabs it with his other hand and it's really neat. So I keep that handy. And I love that it comes in this bag because again, this is something that goes in his mouth. So it's nice to have a cover for it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to support my channel. I'm new to YouTube, so I'm just trying to slowly help other mamas the way they help me throughout my pregnancy, postpartum, and now being a new mom. And I do have a lot more content coming up. I'm going to try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if not on those days, then at least three times a week. And I have a new series coming for planning a natural birth. So if you're interested in seeing more videos, please subscribe so that you can be notified when they go up. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.